Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited because I will be reviewing the PD1560 Pin Display Tablet by Gaimon. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but a big thank you to them for sending me their pin display to try out today. I'm really, really excited and I can't wait to share with you all the awesome features and specs of this pin display. So let's get started with the video. So for the buttons on the pin display tablet, first you have these amazing tin express keys, which is perfect. So you can customize them to your own preference, which is just totally awesome. So you don't have to go with the set preferences. You can just change them to however you would like. And then you have the on-screen display buttons, which include the power and the menu button and the auto button. Um, it also has a plus and minus sign. I'm not sure if that's for the volume or something else, but I'm assuming that's what that's for. Okay, and now after the on-screen display buttons, of course, we have the wires that it comes with. First, we have the power adapter, which also came with a UK standard power adapter, which I didn't show. But right here, um, I'm going to show you guys that you can actually take off the adapter that it comes with and you can place in the adapter that you need for your um, types of wall plugs. Um, next, we have the other um, plugs for the display. First, we have the USB type C. Then we have the mini HDMI. Then we have the power that connects to the adapter. And then I'm going to show you guys how that works right here. And then yes, that's just all you have to do for that. And then now you have the regular HDMI and then you have the USB. Next we have the pin, which has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is amazing. It has two buttons on the bottom, which you can also set to your preference. And um, yeah, it'll make it easier for when you go from eraser to brush or whatever you would like to set that to. Um, it's all just to make life a lot easier for you. <laughs> and at the top, we have the um, port for charging, and it also comes with the wire for that, of course. And I'm going to show you guys how that works right here. And I'm just putting it in there just like that. And then it comes with the USB to plug that in with. And then here we have the pin nib. This is just an up close shot of it so you can see how this looks. And of course we have the pin for the stand which inside has replaceable pin nibs which is super, super duper cool. So you don't have to worry about um, running out of pin nibs anytime soon. And then all you have to do is just twist it back on when you want to um, put the top back on and put the, place the pin right in. Yep, just like that. And here's a nice little shot of the pin, you know, it's really, really smooth, you know. <laughs> and then another cool feature is on the bottom of this, um, the pin display holder, the pin holder is um, an area where you can take the pin nib out. All you have to do is put the pin in and just twist it. And that's how you would take the pin nib out so you could get um, a new one. And here is the adjustable stand, which um, I think it was really cool that it also came with a screwdriver and four screws, so you can already have that here. And then right here, I'm just showing you um, that the top part, you just pull that out just so you can adjust the stand to however you would like. And then here is the back of the pin display, and um, the nameplate is actually in between those four holes. You can't see it that well, but um, yeah. And then here are the instructions for putting the adjustable stand on. So you can have all the help that you need for that. <clears throat> and then I'm just showing the, the screws that you need to, I mean the holes that you would line the stand up with right here. And I'm just lining it up. And I'm going to screw in the screws for this. Don't Make sure you don't screw it too tight because you don't want to strip the screw. And here we go, we have the stand on the pin display. And yep, this is how it works. Just make sure to be careful with it and if you ever want to put up the display tablet to take off the adjustable stand. 
All right, you guys, so this was the pin display review. I really hope that this was helpful for you all or if you're now interested in getting one for yourself, go ahead and make sure to check out the links below if you're interested in getting the PD1560 by Gaimon. Once again, thank you so much, Gaimon, for sending me your pin display. I love it so much. I'm so happy I finally got myself a pin display because y'all, I needed it. You know, I needed it more. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and let me know in the comments down below if you are interested in getting this pin display tablet and if you like the video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and God bless.